I'm the calculus professor and today I'll be talking to you about partial fractions. In problem number 17, we'd like to evaluate the integral from negative 1 to 2 of 5x over x squared minus x minus 6 dx. All right, so we're going to take this definite integral uh, using partial fractions. So the first thing that I'd like to do is let's completely factor the denominator. So I'm going to rewrite this thing. Let's ignore that we're taking an integral right now. We're just going to break it up into partial fractions first. Then we're going to worry about the integration piece. So I have 5x over, and if I factor this guy, uh, I get x minus 3 times x plus 2. All right, so and if I were to break this up into partial fractions, these are both linear terms. So I get an a over x minus 3 plus b over x plus 2. Now let's clear the fractions. If I do, I multiply both sides by x minus 3 times x plus 2, and I get 5x on the left side. And on the right side, I get a times x plus 2 plus b times x minus 3. All right, so now we're ready to solve for the a and the b. First of all, let's choose some good values for x. Uh, a good value for x in this case might be that x is minus 2. If x is equal to minus 2, then this side gives me negative 10. Over here, if x is minus 2, this is 0. And if x is minus 2, I get minus 2 minus 3, which is minus 5b. So b is 2. Now we could also choose another value for x. Let's let x be equal to 3. If x is 3, I get 15 on this side. If x is 3, I get 5a. And if x is 3, this is 0. So I get 15 equals 5a, or a is equal to 3. Okay, so I've solved for my a and I've solved for my b. Now let's rewrite my integral. So my integral now can be written as the integral from minus 1 to 2 of um, a over x minus 3. Well, a is 3. So I've got 3 over x minus 3. And I've got b over x plus 2. b is 2 plus 2 over x plus 2. All of that dx. All right. Uh, are these natural logs, the derivative of x minus 3 is 1, the derivative of x plus 2 is 1, so if we just pull the constant out to the side, it's a natural log, so I can rewrite this. Uh, take the antiderivative, I get 3 times ln of absolute x minus 3 plus 2 times ln of absolute x plus 2. All of that evaluated from negative 1 to 2. Alright, so let's plug in my 2 and my negative 1. First let's plug in 2. I get 3 times ln of 2 minus 3. 2 minus 3 is minus 1. The absolute value of minus 1 is 1, so this is just ln of 1. Okay, plug in 2 here and I get 2 ln of 4. So plus 2 ln of 4. All right, now we subtract, plugging in the minus 1. If I plug in minus 1, I get minus 1 minus 3, which is minus 4. Absolute value of minus 4 is 4. So I get 3 ln of 4. So 3 ln 4. And then I get, if I plug in minus 1 here, I get minus 1 plus 2 is 1. I get 2 ln of 1 plus 2 ln of 1. 
Well, ln of 1 is 0, so this term is just gone, and this term is just gone. So all that I'm left with here is 2 ln of 4 minus 3 ln of 4, which is minus 1 ln of 4. And ultimately, I guess this is my answer. If you don't like this as much, I could write this as ln of 4 to the negative 1, or I could write it as ln of 1 fourth. All of those are correct answers. So we get ln of 1 fourth as the answer to this definite integral.